Okay, so now that we have the legs tied, it's time to braise. You're going to season it real nicely with a good bit of salt. And some black pepper. We've got a pan on over medium high heat. We're going to add a little bit of rice oil. Canola oil will also be fine nice and hot. We're just going to add the turkey to the pan. It seems especially hot at first, but when you add the turkey, the pan will cool down quite a bit. So don't be worried that it's up too high. You definitely want this turkey to be caramelized on all sides so that it adds extra flavor to the braise. I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit. And just let it cook. So now that we have the meat nice and caramelized, we're gonna pour off a little bit of the fat. Be careful because it's very, very hot. Leave about a tablespoon of fat in the pan to saute your mirepoix. So we're gonna add our celery, I mean our onions, our carrots, and celery. And saute this down for about five minutes. After five minutes, we're going to add the wine. The wine will deglaze the pan. There's a, the fond, which we call it, is what the little bits of turkey that stick to the bottom pan and add a very nice roasted flavor. So add about half of a cup of Kendall Jackson Chardonnay. And using a wooden spoon, just scrape the bits off the bottom of the pan. After the wine is mostly reduced, we're going to add our chicken stock and our water. Now we'll add our bay leaves and thyme and place the turkey back into the stock. Once we get the turkey in, we'll pull our roasted bones out of the oven and add those to the pan also. This will add an extra layer of flavor to the braise. All the caramelization you're getting off the bones and off the outside of the turkey will make a very rich gravy as the end result to this dish. Bring this up to a simmer. Cover it with foil. And place it into a 350 degree oven for about two and a half hours or until it's tender enough when pierced with the tip of a knife it gives very little resistance. And there we go. Now all you do is wait.